We've seen how AIs have killed music or turned it into a hobby anyway. We've seen why the main objections to AIs don't make much sense unless it's a fatally late attempt to ward off change. This journey seems to lead to a frankly bleak future. But what if I told you this could be the moment humanity has always dreamt about? Hello, Top Hatters. This is Simon Mas, your friend, who for once will not be discussing music, but something that can literally change our lives. Some people say artificial intelligence is just another tool, another item in the long list of things that improved our lives from fire to the internet. AIs will kill jobs, but new jobs will be created. Can't be a musician, be a prompt engineer. There's a problem with that though. For a start, generative AIs are designed to understand plain language. Anyone can just tell them what they want. Sure, you might still need to learn how to express your needs better, but it's nothing you can't learn for free with minimal effort. It's unlikely this is going to change, but there's a second caveat. You can ask an AI to improve your prompt. Check this out. Let's use Gemini as a prompt engineer. A bit of patience as I type the request. And here you go, a much better rounded prompt. Total cost, a few seconds of my time. Maybe AIs are just another tool, but they can change the job market in a way no other tool has before. And this leads us to... A huge change of our society structure. See, when AIs improve, and they will, they will become an unmatched tool to extract value from workers. In less ideological terms, you can do more with less. Sustain the whole production system circus with fewer workers. A bit like what happened with agriculture, for example. 90% of the US workforce was employed in farms in the 1790s. Today, it's less than 2%. But AIs won't just affect one sector at a time, and it won't take them centuries to change everything. 18 months ago, chatting with an AI was a sci-fi thing. Now, they have already profoundly affected the way some of us work. Sooner or later, our society's structures will be affected too. We'll get the big money on top, the usual filthy rich, the technocratic class in the middle, the salaried few who will make sure everything works. And a vast majority of really, really cheap labor at the bottom. Pretty much everyone else. Don't blame me. There's no such thing as a free lunch. After all, it's you who are not valuable for the job market. And it's not like we never had a society organized like that either. That's the doom and gloom most analyses of this kind and with, but we do have a better alternative. If AIs are bound to profoundly affect the way our societies work, why don't we use the opportunity to change everything for the better? To implement changes not economically viable right now. Example, we could end world hunger. In 2024, we don't have a problem of production, but one of distribution, meaning that if we allowed everyone to eat, the big capital would earn much less. <gasps> no can do, you bloody commie. But as we said, AIs would both increase productivity and cut labor costs. Why not use at least part of that extra profit to make sure that everyone has a good standard of living? Food, health, shelter, basic schooling, public transportation. Call it universal basic income. Call it a free lunch. Call it socialism. Even if socialism has nothing to do with it. To me, it's basic human decency especially if most people won't be able to support themselves through working. 
suddenly everyone will be free from bullshit jobs. We'll all have the luxury of doing our thing because we'll have the safety net to fall onto. Yeah, some people will just smoke pot, get drunk and watch TV, like they haven't already all through the ages. But as charity work already shows, people generally want to do something meaningful even if they don't get paid. Start a business, climb the corporate ladder if you want, or tend to sick and lonely people, or invent new dishes, or create art, perhaps with the help of AIs, because these AIs are empowering. Anyone without much expertise needed can describe a sound, an image, a task and get something pronto with no livelihood at stake. How can that be a bad thing? I'm not naive enough to think that everything will be peachy, but this sure beats the bleak alternative, right? A bit like subscribing to my Telegram channel beats wandering through the internet lonely and bored in search for music-related content. Follow the link in the description or use this QR code. Thank you. Now, let's be honest, do you think we'll be given that universal safety net I just told you about if we don't ask for it? You tell me, but I think it's best if we don't make the same mistake us creative made 10 years ago when generative AI started being discussed in public, doing too little way too late. What better time to start demanding the right kind of change than now? AIs are still in their infancy. We have enough time to start discussing the future we want. Leave me a comment. I'm curious about how you see this hot topic. This, my dear top actors, was your Simon Mas. Stick around for the music related content this channel usually offers. For the moment, stay cool and keep your top hat on. Bye!